former Iraqi Prime Minister and head of the State of Law Coalition, Nori al-Maliki, has said that confronting Israel is not solely Hezbollah's responsibility and urged all Iraqi militia groups to join the fight against Israel, potentially further involving Iraq in the conflict. Please go read the article titled Former PM Urges Iraqi Militias to Join Fight Against Israel for more information. Now we can see the use of these Iranian militias stationed in Iraq. Why have they not yet expelled them from Iraq we can clearly see how evil this man Nori al-Maliki is. He hates the Kurds and he hates the Jews. Does he even love himself he is an evil man. But we wonder how he still exists even in Iraq who is allowing this to happen. Like I said many years ago, there will never be peace and total stability in Iraq unless this man is dealt with and justice is served upon him for what he has done and is doing to Iraq. Is he really that powerful and protected that he can't be touched will God intervene and help Iraq so, do you think this could, if these militia did react to Maliki's call to fight not saying they are going to listen to Maliki, affect the timing of the RV of course it would delay it, but it wouldn't stop it. I have been following you since I got into this investment. While I find some of your comments frustrating, they are the truth. I believe you. So today, when you said that you believe 1000% that the RV will not happen until November, again, frustrating that you don't think it's going to happen today, but what I read into it is hopeful, and I read that it is going to happen. We've e waited this long, what s another month. Please be right. We all need this to come to fruition. Thank you again. Capital while indicating that investing in human capital is a fundamental pillar for achieving sustainable development. The World Bank Group representative, Bilal Zagir, told the Iraqi news agency INA, the first conference on human capital development in Iraq is related to supporting Iraqi civilization and its future, noting that investing in Iraqi human capital is a fundamental pillar for achieving sustainable development for all groups. Development of human capital and will continue at an accelerating pace in the coming days. Yesterday, Tuesday, the first conference on human capital development in Iraq was launched, with the attendance of the ministers of planning, health and labor, and a number of members of the House of Representatives. Where are we, for now the information from last night indicated that today, in a period of 24 hours, the simultaneous departure. Well, so far we haven't received the notifications, but the information was really good, everything is ready and now, of course, this could be a weekend event and during the weekend. So, you know, after the call ends, we typically receive additional information and that has been the case. So the prospects of this happening over the weekend are really strong. The RNR accounts are already deposited into our QFS accounts and we can then transfer some of those funds to our main accounts. Now, I discovered that QFS is designed to transfer funds only to up to three other accounts. When you arrive at the exchange and set up all the accounts with biometrics, passwords and a completely new email, everything should be set up for the QFS account and you will also receive a debit CC for your new account with your main bank. Then, you will transfer and sell from that account using that card. Bruce says he will let that card pay for things charged to the card for the month automatically, just pay the balance without worry. You will have those two cards immediately. Bruce said not to keep them in a safe deposit box, but in the safest place in your house. They will be printed on the spot and stamped and printed for you right away. Bruce could put the name of his trust as the main account and then it must have your signature.